Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. I wanted to do a really quick overview of my travel watercolor supplies. If you're curious about any of the materials that I used, I will have them all linked in the description box down below. And let's get into it. So to start it off, I put everything in this really convenient clear plastic bag. That way I know if anything starts leaking. So to get started, I always like to bring my favorite supplies for sketching. So I always make sure to have my Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil. I usually use it in light gray, uh, but the color can vary. It depends. And then if I decide to do any inking, then my favorite pen to use is the Bic Crystal Pen. Um, I find these to be really great, and they are easy to use. They dry super quick. I don't have to worry about them smudging, and I really like them. For erasing my drawing, I always like to bring the uh, Stadler eraser. I find that this one is really great, and it's super gentle on watercolor paper. I never have to worry about it ruining the tooth of the paper, and I really appreciate that, and that's important with watercolor paper. And then I always bring this little twist and sharp pencil sharpener. I like it because it has this little reservoir for the shavings, and it also has this little twist dial that I can uh, change the sharpness of my pencils, and I think that's really nice. I always leave it on like the super sharp setting, but... Uh, it's nice to have an option. And then for brushes, I have these travel brushes that I really like. These are from Escoda, and I have a number six and a number two. And these are really nice because they have holes in the tops of, um, well, the handles, I guess. So if you have to put these away wet, then you don't have to worry about uh, the the tips of the brushes, like molding or anything. And then finally, I have this little tiny brush that I got in my Winsor & Newton cotton set. So I have something for larger details, I have something kind of in between, and then I have this really fine kind of liner brush, which is probably about a number one, and I really like that. Then for watercolor, the exciting part, um, I always like to bring something to do my mixing in, so I usually bring this little uh, ceramic tray. It kind of came in the a serving section of Marshalls or Home Goods or whatever, and you can get four of these for like three or four dollars. And then I usually bring a super small travel paint kit, and this one is just a box of tea that I got, or, or a little metal tin that I got in a box of tea, and I thought it was really cute, and I never travel with tea bags, so I, I just kind of held on to it. Uh, but what I did is I just put... Uh, little half pans in here stuck to magnets, and then little dollops of colors that I don't use as often. This is actually kind of a deep tin, so I have slightly large magnets on here to keep them in place, and it just kind of raises them up, and it's nice because I'm able to still have the pans marked on the side so I know what color I'm using, and they are raised up in the pan. Uh, so especially if I'm getting colors that are kind of on the edge, I'm not ruining my bristles by sticking it in there, um, and that I really appreciate. For me, personally, I hate water brushes. I hate them. Uh, so I always carry this little jar of water, and this is what I use. It's usually my, um, I don't carry like a clean and dirty water when I'm traveling, so I always make sure to bring this with me. And then if I need clean water, um, occasionally I'll bring this, not always. Um, this is just like a little like dropper bottle that I got in a set of like those beauty bottles that you get in like the travel section. Uh, that's all this is, and I got it for, you know, probably a couple dollars. And then this is a glass jar. I try to keep things in glass jars. That's just me. Um, a lot of the times I will recycle things, so if I get uh, maybe like jam or salsa or um, maybe like a caramel sauce or something like that in the store, then I keep the jar and I use it for water and art supplies. And then finally we have watercolor books. Now I don't bring all of these. Um, I usually pick just one and it varies based on what I want to do in that trip. Uh, so I have probably one of my favorites is this Field Watercolor Journal from Fluid Watercolor Paper. This is a cold press 140 pound. It's six by six, so it's a little small. I'll get these out of the way. But the pages are really nice. It opens flat. And what I always appreciate is having a notebook where I can flip the uh, page around to the back, which is why I like spiral bound. Um, I know not everyone appreciates that, but for me, uh, it's always a plus. And uh, both sides of this can be used, but I will say that the front is always going to be the better side. Um, the back tends to act a little bit differently. It's not as great as, like, 
um, a Fabriano or an Arches or something like that, so keep that in mind. And then another option, if I'm being uh, just kind of casual about it, I have the Strathmore 500 series mixed media uh, sketchbook. Now this one is a bound sketchbook. Uh, but it does open flat, and that I really like. So you can kind of do uh, your drawings across both pages. You can paint on either side. The, the back does act a little bit differently, but not so noticeable, where if you do something across two pages, you're going to be like, that doesn't look right. Uh, so that I really appreciate. Uh, this is thinner paper. Like I said, it is mixed media paper. But I actually really, really love it for watercolor. Like, it's it's really, really nice. And then, finally, uh, this is not as common for me to bring, uh, but I do appreciate having it. It's the, again, it's a fluid watercolor paper. Um, it's their block this time, and it's in their 8x8. It's still cold press. It's still 140 pounds, and it's their block. So it's sealed on both sides. Uh, the top and the bottom, and then the sides are open, so you can just take something and pull it off of the block whenever you're done. Uh, this one I use when I know I'm going to be probably like traveling in a place where I want the pages to stay down, um, or if I'm working on something a little bit nicer, like if I have like a commission that I'm working on, or something that I want to do for a personal project, something that I know I want it to be nice, I want it to look a little bit more professional, I want to do it on really nice paper, and I want something that I know is going to be held down and really reliable. Uh, so this is always an option for me. And then finally, if I'm working on something, then uh, occasionally I'll just bring a few pieces of loose leaf cold press paper. Uh, this is my Arches Rough 140 pound paper. Uh, it's my favorite paper to use at the moment. And uh, if I'm doing something like this, then usually I will just take something like uh, this folder I made. It's just made out of cardstock and it's taped at the edges. So what I like to do is just have kind of like a thin um, piece of cardstock that is just made into a folder for something like this. Or I keep it in a book, so if you are working on uh, sketches or something like that, then that's always another idea that you could do um, if you want to bring the paper that you already have rather than a notebook. So that's it. These are my travel watercolor supplies. And like I said, I always keep them in some sort of bag to keep them together. But this is a really small kit. It's really, it's really great for those of you who don't like the water brushes like myself. I like something where I can keep really, really fine control when I am painting. Um, and those just don't allow me to have that. So this is my setup. I hope you found this really helpful, and I will make sure to have all of these products linked in the description box down below in case you're interested and would like to make your own kit. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and give it a like and a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all next week. Bye! Whatever type of project that I'm working on, whether it's just a super casual sketch, or if it is something a little bit more intense like a client project or something like that. So if you like these kinds of videos, please let me know below if this is what I use when I'm going out of my studio to paint, just stuff that I like to bring, and I will go over a couple of different options for 